Hi, Munsif M. Ahmed here. Today, I am going to explain you the very interesting concept with respect to system Verilog UVM. And the concept is TLM analysis port. So, first we will try to see a little bit of theory and after we will try to put that theory into practice. We will try to write a simple code in the EDA playground and then we'll uh, try to see how this analysis port export connection can be implemented using a simple code. So I have taken an example from chip verify. I acknowledge their work and uh, we'll try to see the concept with the help of this diagram. If you see the component B, it has an analysis port diamond shape. Okay, so diamond is nothing but an analysis port. And on the other hand, there are three subscribers 1, 2 and 3 in which you will find that it has a circle which is nothing but an analysis export. So the component which has analysis port is broadcasting this data whatever it has or packet to the multiple components or here you can see multiple subscribers. So the analysis port is an, a special kind of port which can transmit a data from one to many like in in real example if you see you will find that the analysis port is there uh, for the monitor which is broadcasting this data to multiple components like coverage collector and um, you can see the a scoreboard is there or or reference model okay. so the monitor has an analysis port whereas the receiving components having analysis export so they are receiving the data from this uh, analysis port so one to many kind of scenarios possible with the help of this analysis port export so this is what a simple theory with this diagram you can understand now we'll try to put that theory into practice meaning we'll write a simple code and we'll try to understand that concept so i'm using ed playground which is uh, uh, easily available on the um, uh, Google you will just type and you can use with the help of your Gmail ID too. So as I discussed that it's uh, one to many kind of scenario whereas uh, if you study that blocking port so it is used for one to one communication but this analysis port is in, is in a special type of port which is used for one to many kind of scenario. So simply we will try to understand the code and we'll try to run that code and we'll explain uh, we'll try to understand with the help of that output of that code see this is what two lines you need to add <clears throat> this first line tick include uvm micros dot svh will give you an access to uvm macros whereas import uvm package colon colon star will give an access to uvm packages this is what a simple transaction class i'm writing class transaction extends from uvm sequence item this is what a base class in which I am declaring two properties A and B, one of 4 bit and one of 5 bit and I am qualifying them with a RAND so that in future I can randomize them. And this is what a factory registration and field macros. Tick UVM object details begin and tick UVM object details end. And within parenthesis this transaction class name and tick UVM field int A within parenthesis, uh, within parenthesis and UVM default. This is what a flag you can use UVM all on here also and this is what a UVM decimal flag because I want whenever I want to print the properties I want to print them in decimal format because by default it is printing in hexadecimal format for for our easy understanding just I'm printing them in decimal format so you can write this decimal flag here <clears throat> this is what a default constructor as you know it is an object class in the UVM base class hierarchy so it's, uh, it's it's expecting only one argument. So input a string name is equal to transaction class name. You can type any name here. In super dot new it will call the parent class and in function and in class transaction. Similarly, the producer or initiator class <coughs> class producer extends from UVM component. And here I am declaring an instance of the transaction class. Okay, so instance transaction trans. This is one instruction. Uh, sorry. Uh, transaction instance and as you know that uh, it's ex extending from uvm component so we are registering with a tick uvm component tils factory registration and it has an analysis port so if you see the diagram you'll find that it has an analysis port initiator okay. 
so i'm writing uvm analysis port hash which is a parameterized class so in this i'm writing a transaction class this is what a transaction class and i'm just giving ap analysis port you can give any any user different name and writing a default constructor as it is a component class in the uvm based class hierarchy we need to write two argument here so first is a string name producer and uvm component parent and super dot new we are calling the uh, constructor parent constructor and just i am creating an analysis port using uh, new method here ap is equal to new okay and uh, this is what a build phase so in build phase we are generally building a lower level component so for us here is a transaction we are creating using factories create method transaction instance name then is equal to transaction is a class name and type id create so this is what the factory is create method <clears throat> in the build phase we are creating that component object for that transaction class now in the run phase this build phase is used generally for building all lower level components and it's executing in top down manner as you know this and the run phase we are just uh, um, as as this run phase is a task as you know which contain delay because we are uh, defining this as a task so its responsibility is to drive this stimulus to the dut and uh, monitor on the other hand will capture the information from the dut based on the dut protocol in the run phase only and it executes in parallel and uh, it's all pre and po pre and post run phases are there uh, will will also executes in the parallel okay you know all the pre and post uh, run phases like uh, shutdown phase reset phase and all so in the run phase i am writing phase dot rise objection and phase dot drop objection in between i am uh, just writing uh, for loop for generating this thing five times you can repeat five also here i am just printing a data send using get type name it will this get type name will print the current class property so it will uh, print the producer here and i'm uh, just writing send data in uvm then verbosity because i want to print this message and assert trans dot randomize so with this we are uh, we are generating five times pseudo random number which is uh, a special facility provided in system very lock for generating a random random data and this is what an analysis port dot write transaction this is what uh, a transaction uh, we are writing in, in, in the transaction this write and just i'm printing using trans dot print method okay so it will generate a uh, five different transaction and will uh, print that uh, transaction here using inbuilt print method and uh, end task run phase and end class producer similarly you will find that uh, target or consumer class see subscriber subscriber 2 and subscriber 3 are there which has uh, analysis export so we'll write a target one here in our case extends from uvm component using tick uh, uvm component details factory registration we are registering this class and the instance of the transaction class okay and it has uvm analysis implementation port you can write export here but today we'll try to see the implementation and next time we'll try to put the export here. so it is uvm analysis implementation imp which is also a parameterized class so you'll find that the first argument is transaction and second argument is class name target one. and i'm just you uh, giving any name aip aimp analysis implementation port and in the default constructor <clears throat> it, it is a component it's expecting to arguments here and i'm just creating this a analysis implementation port here it has a write method which is a function okay single write method analysis port has so this is what a virtual function void write input transaction t you can give any instance here and i'm just printing t dot print so in order to verify that in the target component and this is what a tick uvm info get type name just we are saving saying that uh, data received and uvm then verbosity end function right okay and end class target one similarly 
you'll see you will observe the target two component all the things are same just target two i'm giving here similarly as the target one and in the environment class as you know that environment class is the next top level class in which we are just declaring handle for all the lower level classes like producer target one and target two and uh, we are registering <coughs> with the tick uvm component details because it is a component class in the uvm based class hierarchy and this is what a default constructor which is expecting two arguments and in the build phase we are just creating these three components like producer target friend and target to using factories create method okay and in the end of fill up and in the connect phase sorry we are connecting all these components so if you see the diagram you'll find that the analysis port which has a component b in our case it is a target uh, sorry initiator component which is connecting to the uh, target one component in our case so see the producer dot it has an analysis port as you see the component one which has an analysis port so in our case we are uh, writing it as a producer so it, which has an analysis port dot connect to the within parenthesis we are providing target component any in, in the subscriber one in our case it is try target one okay so which has an alliance sex port here so we, we have analysis implementation port target one dot analysis implementation port similarly we are connecting that producer to the target two components here so this is what in connect phase we are connecting the producer and target using this connect method and this is what an end of class in class environment very simple next top level component is a test class which is also a component class in the uvm based class hierarchy and it is responsibility is to create the lower level component so what we are doing here we are just declaring instance of the environment and uh, this is what a factory registration for the component and this is a default constructor and in the build phase we are just creating using factory create method to this environment okay and um, in the end of elaboration phase we are just printing a topology in order to see what the different components are created and what uh, the our environment and our test bench architecture consist of different components classes okay so with the help of this end of elaboration phase we can print a topology you can use a simple print method here or you can use a uvm top dot print topology in the end of elaboration phase in the test class which is next top level component so in the top module next is the top module in this top module module top module end module we are just creating an instance of the test class and within initial begin block we are just creating an object for this test class and we are calling this run test method which is a task in uvm okay so this run test initiates to execute all the phases starting from build phase to the final phase okay so this is what a simple code i hope you have understood this code so what we'll do now uh, we'll try to we'll try to write this code in the cd playground and we'll try to see uh, how the initiator is uh, generating a data and how how that uh, target components are getting all the same data whatever the initiator is producing okay so for this in ovm or uvm section uh, select the uvm 1.2 and in the simulator tool just choose ldec reviewer pro which is free version okay now save the code control s and in order to run the code control enter you can press <coughs> so that's running okay so this is what an output we'll try to understand it so if you see in the end of elaboration test okay we are um, expecting that topology okay so we'll find that the topology is printed here so the top component is a test after that environment is there which consists of producer target 1 and target 2 so this producer has an analysis port okay which is right and then the target 1 has an uvm analysis implementation port which is uh, we are giving a read in the whenever we are creating them okay so this is what a uh, topology we are printing so that with the help of this we can understand how uh, what other different components our test bench architectures consist okay so the test is here 
then the environment top level components test then environment is there and then environment consists of producer target one and target two similarly we'll try to understand the uh, data which is produced produced by the producer so if you, you can see here producer class okay so uh, which is having two properties one a and b and the value is 13 and 12 okay so if you see target one and target two will also have the same 13 and 12 similarly for target to 13 and 12 so if you analyze all the times because we are generating five times here so you will find that all the times it is giving whatever the producer is producing the target and target one and target two are getting the same data this is what a simple understanding of that analysis port and export in UVM system very log UVM. Okay. So this is what an special uh, system very log uh, facility that it has an analysis port in which one to many kind of scenarios possible. So I will try to put this uh, link in the description so that you will see the code and you can try at your end and uh, we'll try to understand it better okay so i hope with this you have understood the concept of uvm analysis book thanks for watching thank you